What's up everyone, Ryan here and I'm back with another EA Sports PGA Tour Career Mode Series video and today it is time for the Week 21 Tournament, the Alberta Open at Banff Springs and we are coming off a tied for 11th place at the Sawgrass Invitational, Ryan's second time this season playing at his home course tpc sawgrass unfortunately has not won at tpc sawgrass yet but we'll get two more chances next season now a week after this tournament the week 22 tournament is the us open so a lot of our prep this week is trying to fine tune our game getting ready to prepare to getting ready and prepared to win at the us open i need all of your alls one times all the positive of encouraging comments. Let's have a great start here at Banff Springs, a course I am not very familiar with. So we'll see how that goes. But if you all get some enjoyment, drop a like. It really helps the channel. Subscribe for more. And there is plenty of content to tune into each and every day here on the Gamer Ability YouTube channel. But as we take a look at the settings here, one to two miles per hour wins. What a gift here at Banff Springs. We have not seen this low of wins, I don't think, this entire career mode series. This is a gift. We have to come out scoring today. The leader is sitting at five under par right now. I believe we have a morning tea time, though. But we're not going to really know how the field is doing. But it is time. Let's go ahead and dive on in. EA Sports and the PGA Tour proudly present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. From beautiful Banff Springs in Alberta, live opening round coverage of the Alberta Open. We've got a full field ready to get rolling on this Thursday as we get a look at the early leaderboard. We've currently got a tie at the top at five under par. Frank, you and I talk about the variety of tracks that we find on the tour calendar every year. And this one, Banff Springs, different than any of the other courses. You've got the smell of the Canadian pines. We're at altitude. It is our one tournament of the year north of the border. I don't know about you, but this is a trip that I really look forward to every year. Oh, ca Canadians just love their golf too, Rich. And I know they have more left-handers than just about any other golfing nation. But you're right, the beauty is just stunning. Plus that altitude you refer to is nearly 5,000 feet. So that ball just goes forever. But um, I, I remember first going to Banff in the late 90s and I, and I was just absolutely in awe. The ice fields, it is a beautiful part of the world. And here we go. Yes, a beautiful golf course. We got to start out scoring early here. So here we go. Let's put one the fairway to start around here. Oh, that's gorgeous. Always nice to get that first one out of the way, and that's going to be a good one to get this tournament started. So from a little more than 70 yards, this is second. I think we've got to go spinner shot here. So Jerry's big strategy, prepping for this week, I know his big focus has been trying to help Ryan Gamer as a quarterback. Seattle Seahawks so he's still doing a lot of that but he did focus up now going into this tournament this week all week's been studying but his big focus is studying there for the U.S. Open but he, he did give Brian a lot of tips this week a lot of caddy books so he's out there but his main focus was just play your game right play your game birdie often birdie early so you know that's obvious is basically what we need to tell Jerry but yeah he's not wrong pretty often Pretty early. Send this in. Pretty good start. Oh, that is how you get to be world number one. A beautiful shot there to get it in tight. Rich is right. That's how you get to be world number one, everybody. Ryan Gamer going to send this in. Okay, a well played hole there. It is birdie to kick off the round. Cheers, yeah, everybody. Get your coffee, whatever you're drinking. To one under par. Such a beautiful golf course. Now, if you all saw, Victor Hovland was five under through nine. So he's still playing great golf. Played great last week. 178 yards. If the pin is kind of middle left. Probably going to go finesse shot here. 
Finesse, Nine Iron, Full Loft, and Overpowered. Because there's like no wind, right? All I want to do is carry that front of the, kind of carry that bunker, attack it. Got the overpower. Beautiful. Great distance on that. Safely aboard, pin high, right of the flag, and a chance at birdie upcoming. It's scary to we attack welcome that in Iona Steven. This, a putt for birdie. Yeah, I've had a look overall. Little bit of right to left, but fortunately it's on a very flat part of this green. Yeah, I agree with Iona. Le right to left. Ball is above the feet, steady right to left. It's not like no elevation change. I can attack this. The thing is, I don't know these green speeds, so it's always an adjustment. Oh. <laughs> mm, boy, that's a good stroke. Just a fraction off target, but you can't get the speed any better than that. Can't complain. That's a great start to the round. Wow, I wanted that. It. Finished off for par. You were the second. I wanted that one and bad. To remain in red figures at one under. But one of the fairway here on this par five, 491 yards. Wow, this is an easy golf court. Remember, I said that when we, if we start to struggle. No issues here. That is into the fairway. We have 151 yards left. Now, from way down there, a good look at a second to the par five. Yeah, this is a full lofted nine iron. And with the way that green stuck earlier, we can plant this right next to the hole. Come back, come back. Oh, it's on the fringe. Okay, that worked out really well. Not quite on the green, but certainly in a spot where you can make a birdie. You better believe we're putting this for eagle. All is below the feet. It To me, it looks like more left to right than you think. Not a lot at the beginning. Most of the break is right at the hole, it looks like to me. It's down the hill. Got to hit this pretty aggressive. I feel like a half a cup outside. Straight in. Hang on. That's going to leave about three feet. Can't be a upset. Great opportunity here for birdie. When you got to tap in birdie, right? But it still hurts. Yeah, no sweat. It is a birdie here at the third. That's a dream start. Two under through three. Cheers, everybody. Get your coffee. Whatever you're drinking today. Be ready for a lot of coffee. Here's when the elevation starts to really change. 193, what a beautiful golf hole though. How much, I don't know how much is downhill. I haven't played this course very much. I'm not familiar with this course at all. I think we've got to go to eight, eight iron just to play it kind of safe. Middle pin location. That's pretty good. More than pretty good. <laughs> yeah, very good shot. Taking it in right of the hole and a good look upcoming. Right what a around golf six shot. Feet here for birdie. Ball is above the feet, steady downhill. Oh, every time I see this golf ball with bacon and eggs on it, you know, I already got my coffee, but I always want breakfast. I always want bacon, eggs, biscuits, and gravy. Focus on the putt. And <laughs> oh. Yes! Oh, good run going here early. This is birdies at three. Jerry put and the four. magnet on the ball on that one. What a gift. How did that hold on? For all the ones the game has missed, all the ones we missed, the game gave that one to us for all the bad lip outs we've had. That was a gift. Three under through four. Let's send it. This is my type of golf course. Oh no. Found the rough. 
It's been good driving so far. That ball bounces into the rough, so just the first fairway missed today. Not a big deal. 91, 97% lie. Hitting until one to two mile an hour headwind. That should be perfect. It's going to come back. We are dialed in like nothing wrong with that inside of five feet. Nicely done. No, don't, don't do what we did last time. Ball is above the feet slightly. It's right edge. And it in. nothing fancy. Yes. Yes. A good read. It's a birdie here at five. And he'll move to within three of the you lead. see Herbert at four under par. Herbert is seven under through seven. With low winds, these pros at 100 AI are going to shoot. There's no telling. Send this ball. Everything flowing really well right now. Coming off three birdies in a row. Here's another solid tee shot as well. You're not supposed to so pull out a whole birdie shot. to go Rich. here as he'll set up his second for this par four. Have we heard Frank yet? Is Frank here? Let's pitch this one in. I don't think I've heard Frank. I was going for it. Good shot. We're playing incredible right now. He's been automatic on this front side. This for birdie. All is 1.3 degrees below the feet. Looks like a steady left to right. It's not breaking much though. I want you to think it is, but it's not. Okay, nicely played. That's in for birdie here at six. And he's going to get to within two of the Baldwin, lead. Seven under through 15. Five under par. Let's just, let's break a record. Let's shoot like 16 under. Patrick Cantlay has the record this season, I think. 15 under for a round. He shot that against us in the final pairing, if you all remember. Yeah, how could we forget? Four? This one's starting a little bit right. No fairway here. This one in that rough. Okay, 248 downhill. This is not where you want to be on this hole. We have an 86, 92% lie. Don't know if we should go for this. Well, yeah, I think we should. I really do. Remember I said this. Is it soft conditions? Not bad at all. Had the distance right, just a tad offline. How about the chances for getting it up and down from that spot? Yeah, it's not in the thick stuff, Rich, so that's um, advantage number one. Really lies pretty I'm good. I'm chipping this. Yeah, We're going to make this. Standard pitch. Maybe a bit too aggressive on it. I don't know. I still like the line. We're still like the Chance distance. Now for another birdie. Slightly a slightly right to left. Ball was slightly above the feet. Not breaking much. Here we go. Ah yes, runs that one right in. It's a birdie here at the seventh. This is the easiest He's round get to we've had all year. Two shots of the lead now, as he moves to six under par. But do you all see Herbert eight under through nine? Right? Is that what it said? One thirty six. Slide uphill. This is a finesse pitch, full lofted. Land this behind the hole and spin it back. You're just dialed in right uh, now. That's quality shot right there, just left of the hole, and a birdie opportunity coming up. Making good decisions, hitting the right shot. This to me looks left to right just slightly, but it's not breaking much at all. This I think you hit on an aggressive line and just send it in. I mean, this is just becoming too easy now. That a sixth consecutive birdie. 
and he's going to move to within a <laughs> shot of the lead now. If you all are drinking coffee to every make, well, drinking a lot today. Send it. What a beautiful golf course, though. That's unfortunate. We have a 91 to 97 percent lie. Sitting with probably a finesse shot, full loft. I like this. Excellent That's second eagle. shot here at the par five. Frank, certainly a birdie is well within range. Well, from that distance, that second shot, I mean, that's inside the PGA Tour standard, really. Uh, two super shots, and you're right. Outside chance for three. Next week is going to be a big wake-up call because we're moving from this golf course to the Country Club, Brookline, right? I believe it's next week, the U.S. Open. Oh, my. The difficulty level and change between these two rounds is going to be insane. But this is going to give us momentum and confidence. We just got to keep it up. Get in. Get in. Got to hit it. Perfect read. Wake up, Ryan. Wake up. Ryan's like, I'm eight under par. Not much more than a tap in there. It is a birdie. That's a at new the record, ninth, I think, for us. And that'll wrap up a front Cheers. side that was absolutely Lucas, a thing of beauty. How about eight under 28? We're going to run away with this one if we keep this up. We're going to break our record. I'm going to do full loft six iron, probably. Is the green, like, it's just sticking. So basically, you send this right at it, let it stick with full loft. Oh no. Oh no. That was terrifying. Second shot now. Here at the par three. Send this in. <laughs> oh, imagine. With all the elements of his game have been in sync today, a terrific shot right there. It's all about getting it inside that three-foot circle around the hole. That was a really nice shot. So that in for par to start this backside. And he's going to remain Lucas, eight under. eight under through 12. We're eight under through 10. The back nine, I believe, picks up here, though, and is a lot tougher. You, look what happens when Jerry stops focusing on football for a little bit and start... Focuses on golf, right? <laughs> Always blame Jerry. Oh, that's not going as intended. Be a little disappointed with that because did it I... lands in the rough and it appears to be fairly thick over there. Did I clearly miss that? Second shot from the rough, down to Iona. 124 left to the flag stick. Ball sitting down a little bit in the rough, but nothing too dangerous. It's funny because Jerry throws so many people off on this career mode series and all my other career modes because everybody's like, wait, who's Jerry? Who's this Jerry guy you know, he's talking about? <laughs> it throws off so many people. Those of you that have watched all my career mode series, especially in the recent, the last year, you know, right? But if you haven't, like, who in the world is Jerry? <laughs> Great question. I ask myself that every day. In this in. I'm aiming 134 up the slope. We're sending it behind the hole and back in. Spin back, spin back. That's a good finesse. Ah, good approach shot. And birdie putt coming up. At, uh, approach shot, just a little right, a little short. Gary just kind of showed up one day, started carrying the golf bags, and well. We were just kind of stuck with him at that point. It's been a caddy, I feel like, 
from all the stories he tells in caddy books, he's been a caddy for the past 1,000 years. <laughs> Ball is above the feet, steady right to left. This is basically straight in, though. Not a lot of movement here at all. It's hard to tell with the shadows. Okay, I didn't see that much. I nearly had it. Just going to wander a foot or so by. That's how tough it is for me to see the break in the shadows. I've talked about this a lot, but that it's a depth perception thing for me. And it's hard, hard enough in a video game to see the slope, right? But I've gotten a lot better to really see the slope. It, when, it, when you give me the shadows in real life golf and this game, I have no clue. Like in real life golf, I'm just guessing whatever their shadows. It's so just, that, I don't know. In for par here at 11. It's, it's a visual. And this will stay a one-shot lead. Visual thing for me. But we are up. One stroke lead, Lucas Herbert with a birdie. Let's finish strong here. Gotta hit the fairway. <laughs> that thing was sent. Boy, a good round going here on this Thursday and that another fine effort off the tee. Okay, a 95 yards. Distance here, 95 yards for his second. Let's go. Full D lofted. We don't want this to spin back too much. We want it to spin back a little, but not too much. Still spun back too much. Underswing got us there. Still a great oh, shot. Just needed that a little bit more. I know it's 10 feet, but come on, I want it a little bit closer. Now this. In Frank on the same page. Birdie. We both just wanted it a bit closer. It's not very, it's not every day me and Frank are actually agreeing. This is tough. It says ball is above the feet at the beginning. But to me, it looks like it's the opposite way most of the way. Yeah. Aw. This is a tough one. I think it's a little bit right to left. I think it's a little bit right to left. Final answer. Okay, that'll help the cause. It's a birdie here at number Don't 12. Don't overthink it. Nine under. Stretch the lead to two shots. Watch, it's going to go from low winds this round to like max 25 miles per hour like we had last week. 213 uphill. And on top of the low winds, we have soft conditions where we can just attack the pin. I'm going to do a full lofted six iron. And we may be able to plant this right next to the hole. Oh, and I forgot about this. Somebody made a great point in a recent video. The wind, We have wind gusts turned on. So even though it shows the 1 to 2 miles per hour at the beginning, it could be any. And somebody was also also asking me, how can I see the wind on Sim? Because it don't, don't see the miles per hour. So you go off that first range it gives you. And then after that, it's all based on how it's affecting the ball during the round. Like, does it feel like it's at the higher end of that range? Does it feel like it's off the charts wind gust? Like, you have to make adjustments based on how it affects the ball. If you if you predict first hole is 10 miles per hour and you miss by, like, 5, you know you're off, right? So just make adjustments throughout. It's tough, right? It takes time. Put this one next to the hole. So, yeah, I guess... You know, you don't really know what the wind is, but this you just use your knowledge, close. and you do that. Tell you what, I've enjoyed watching this display all day long. We hear the phrase in football, ball control. It applies to what we've seen here from this player. That is an outstanding display of ball control. It's funny because the announcers never talked about football until it's because I just Ryan Gamer just stepped into Madden 24, and they mentioned football like. Three times in the past two weeks. Isn't that ironic how it like they started these football quotes after we start playing Madden 24? <laughs> I know it has nothing to do with it, but still, it's kind of pretty cool. <laughs> Maybe they do know. It's in the sin left to right. Steady break. You got to hit it. Oh, that is so close. Just a little bit more. Those hurt like that. Those never feel good. I don't care when you're nine under. Okay, safely those still hurt here at thirteen. You still want to. Lead's gonna remain two. Take more birdies. What a beautiful, beautiful golf hole.
Look at that castle in the background. Really starting to make a hard game look easy. Drive after drive has been superb. And this one, well, as we like to say, is in the mayor's office. So, 54 degree wedge into this headwind. A couple options. Deloft it and stick it right next to the hole or spin it back. I think delofting it is the way. Landing it right next to the hole. We'll take it. Needed a bit more out of it. Good shot. And that's though. a good approach shot too. Just a little left of the hole, but a good chance for birdie. Chance oh. now for another birdie. Ball is below the feet. Steady uphill. Left to right. Gotta make this. Not leaving this short like the last one we just did. Yes. Ah, that's how you play this 14th hole. That's in for birdie. This is one of the, the best first this rounds we've had. Round is all the way up to three. It helps when you have one miles per hour wind on a very scorable golf course. This is my type of golf round. <laughs> we'll enjoy it while it lasts, because we, we went from 25 to 29 miles per hour, per, per hour win in the last Jeff, round. There to another wonderful tee shot. The one to two, thank you game for that. Perfect we needed spot that. to play this second, middle of the fairway. So I do think we had a little bit of loft on this one. And plant this right next to the hole and spin it back. That's a great swing. One of the best we've had all day. Too much spin. Well, that ball landed really too close to the flag. These are firm greens. You've got to land that shorter. He yeah. just made one on the previous hole. This slightly longer for another birdie. Frank was right. We just miss hit that one a little bit. Ball is below the feet. It does to me look like a steady left to right at the beginning, but then those shadows hit. It still looks like it's left to right to me. It's so hard to tell, though. A little bit left to right I'm going with. Final answer. Yes! Oh, yes. A perfect putt there. It is in for birdie. Here is 15. This is 15. insane. Nobody can stop Ryan Gamer this week. Are you kidding me? Just full send mode. Love this course, though. Oh, no. Oh, no. Nope. That wasn't the right line, and he'll pay the price as this ball going to run off the fairway and into the bunker. We've got to go finesse shot here from the bunker. We've made one of these before. I'm going to do full loft, 83-91% line. We're going to hit at like 75, and it's going to land about 70 and hopefully spin back like a lot, a whole lot. This could be a bad shot. Or, or... That was a great shot. That was tricky. This is a shade better than 50% on the make percentage. The fancy it's shot, birdie. wasn't it? That that was an impressive golf shot. It worked out exactly like we wanted it to, but the problem is you can't see the green slope, right? So we don't know. We know where I know where I wanted to land it, but I didn't know which way is going to break. So if we did, we might have been able to make that. Ball is above the feet, steady up the slope. It does look like it's right to left, but again, these shadows make it tough for me. Yes! Ah, uh, that a pure roll I'm there. fired that up is today. Down for a birdie <laughs> here at 16. Tell. Got an espresso in my cup today. 12 under. New record for me. I believe this is a new record for me on true sum settings in this game. We're locked in. Putting. Driving. Every shot. We're, our proximity hole is nuts. I'm, I'm sending this. Why not? Why would we not power drive this? Good effort. 
Well, that drive was enormous. I know it's in the rough, but that is long. Now, with how soft these greens are, we can pitch this up right at it and then get it to stop. Should be able to. Now, the, there's like no wind, so we don't have to really worry about that. What? Like a flyer lie? Now this for another that, bird. That was kind of strange. We can do about it. Ball is below the feet, steady left to right. How to make this? You don't have to, but I really want to. Did a fan just say sit, sit, sit? What are you rooting against, Ryan? Why do you want that to sit? Go, go, go. No problems there. That's a par. You're at 17. And he'll Don't remain well when in you're control 12 of this under. tournament. Who's 17? And this is a par 5 finish, right? I don't think we need to send this ball. I think, where's that bunker? That's 292, right? That bunker? It's so hard to tell where we're aiming. I don't even know. Good shot dispersion on that one. Very good. Yeah, all about hitting the fairway here, and that is right where you want to be. So we have 238. I'm looking at six hybrid here. Four, let's go four iron, actually. Well, how much green do we have to work with? 219 to the front, right pin location. So yeah, four iron, full loft. Land about 230, 227. Go right at it. It's got to hit the green and hit soft. That's a tough shot. Really hit that second shot on the button to this par five, but Frank couldn't get it to stop. Yeah, too good, too long, sadly. Got to get this up for birdie. That'd be 13 under. An incredible round. That would give us a six stroke lead right now, but there's more people left to play. This hit it. Okay, a good out, and that's what will remain for birdie. Gotta make this. Left. I just want to really bad. <laughs> that shadow just makes it so... That one tree. I'm gonna move that shadow. Ball is below the feet. Looks like steady downhill, left to right. Not much break here. Yes! Yeah, 13! It's a birdie at the last. So, Frank, today, in a word, in Tell Burns had a great round, Just too. Just made a complicated game appear so simple. We made a complicated game appear so, si so simple. Couldn't say it better myself, Frank. That is an 8-under on the front. 8-under on the front, a 5-under on the back. We just shot a 58. We just shot a 58, 13 under, the round of the season so far for Ryan Gamer. My probably best round in this game on true sim settings. That was nuts. Shot 13 under, yeah, easy conditions. But we were also striping everything to perfection. Set Shot setup was amazing. That was just an ex a great display of golf. A 58 for Ryan Gamer with the four stroke lead on Selm Burns. We have Tom, Zach, Xander, Lucas, Adam, and Brandon. Now, Lucas had a great start. Seven under through seven, right? And then could not get it going after that. But we will have a four stroke advantage moving into round number two here at Banff Springs. What a start. Thank you all for all the one times, all the hype. Let's go. I love that course. That was so much fun. Hey, if you all got some enjoyment, drop a like. It really helps the channel. Subscribe for more and check the full playlist. I've linked for you all in the description if you're looking for more episodes in this series. Ryan Gamer is a multi-sport athlete on the channel. You can check out his other sporting endeavors as well if you're interested. 
Another golf series, we have PGA 2K23 has had an e epic tournament this week. Last week, he actually had one of the best comebacks of all time in that series. If you missed it, highly rec recommend you check that one out. That was episode 83, I believe. Then we have Madden 24, NBA 2K23, MLB The Show 23. But I will see you all in the next one. As always, have a fantastic day, everybody.